Hi everybody, I hope you're all well and I'm going to get straight into this one. I want to talk about today what has been happening of late in our news with the brutal, brutal killings of both Alton Sterling and Philando Castile. Now, before I continue with this conversation, I do feel it is right for us to put this in context and to do that, I am going to share the footage of both of their killings. So if you do not want to see the footage or you are of the nature that does not like killings, blood, brutal assassinations, injustice taking place or you have young children, please look away now. <laughs> with me we got pulled over for a busted tail light in the back and the police just he's 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 covered he they killed my boyfriend he's licensed he's carried to he's licensed to carry he was trying to get out his id and his wallet out his um pocket and he let the officer know that he was re he had a firearm and he was reaching for his wallet and the officer just shot him in his arm we're waiting for a back. I will, sir. No worries. I will. Fuck. He just shot his arm off. We got pulled yeah. over on Larpener. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand off it. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Oh, my God. Please don't tell me he's dead. Please don't tell me my boyfriend just went like that. Just keep your hands where they are, please. Yes, I will, sir. I'll keep my hands where they are. Please don't tell me this, Lord. Please, Jesus, don't tell me that he's gone. Please don't tell me that he's gone. Please, officer, don't tell me that you just did this to him. You shot four bullets into him, sir. He was just getting his license and registration, sir. Now, this is, like, really, really, really painful for all of us and, you know, for me, I'm feeling the pain, not because I know either of these two young men before they died or I knew their families or any of the such. I don't know them from anywhere. But the reason I feel the pain and the reason I wanted to speak up about it is because this is disgusting. This is absolute disgusting. It's a disgusting assassination of someone's life, brutally taken down and by the people they thought they could have trusted, the people who have um, taken an oath to protect and serve their country in wearing the uniform. And it's so horrible to see that this has taken place. Now, oh, it's disgusting. Um, sorry, um, yeah, as I was saying, These two police officers, two different locations, two different times, two different areas, etc., etc. So, no, I don't believe that um, all police force are murderers and killers. No, I don't believe that. The same way I don't believe all white people are murderers and killers. The same way I don't believe all black people are murderers and killers. No, I don't believe that. I believe that in this instance, this is a case where two individuals who completely wrong, have abused the authority that they have been given and have now taken two people's lives. Um, I'm here not because I have an answer. No, I don't have an answer. I don't have... I don't know. But I'm here because um, it's an injustice. I feel it's a complete injustice. And I feel, first and foremost, this has been going on for donkey's years. And it will continue to go on for donkey's years. 
But we as a people, we have a voice. And until we allow our voice to be heard, not with violence, but we allow our voice to be heard, this will continue to take place. It pains me, it really saddens me when I look at such footage and to know that um, their family members have seen how their lives are taken. I can't imagine the pain they're going through right now. Oh dear, um, yeah. It's taken me a long time to actually come and put pen to paper, to even write anything, to even sit here right now because it really does hurt me. And as I said, I don't know them, but what hurts me is to know that the injustice is taking place. Don't get me wrong, I'm aware that injustice takes place in this world. I'm very, very aware, my eyes are open. But this hurts because it hurts because on so many different levels and we can all see for our own selves and our own reasons as we've all seen together. Um, one of the reasons it hurts me is because, um, for instance, with Alton Sterling, he is a 37 year old young man. I am a 37 year old young lady. If it happened to him, it can happen to me. If it can happen to me, if it can happen to you, if it can happen to him, it can happen to you, it can happen to me. Can you see where I'm going with this? It can happen to anybody. It doesn't matter about your colour or your age or your status in this world. It doesn't matter. It can happen to any of us. But we need to make a change. We all need to stand together in unity to make a change. The only reason we are aware of such situations that have taken place is because of, um, let's be real, the modern technology we have and the smartphones that we have. So the people that showed us this footage used at that given time to spread the knowledge to the world. So I'm very grateful to them. As painful as it is to watch, I'm very, very grateful to those individuals for sharing this um, footage because it highlights something that has been going on for years that we have never seen. For years where many people's lives have been taken and we never hear about it. So people with the knowledge that we have now received by seeing such things and hearing about this, I think it's important for us to use common sense and unite in power, unite in unity, unite in love, unite in love. The only way things will change is if we bring unity, love and allow God in to change the situation. We all have a voice. We all have a voice. And I was totally humbled to know that the rally that took place in London yesterday was organised by one young individual, one young lady, who stood up and said she has a voice and recognised that we all have a voice and pulled together and pulled that rally together in central London yesterday. And I'm humbled by that, totally humbled by that. And I love my Londoners and I love London 100% and you guys smashed it absolutely smashed it that we can recognize that it's not about this color and it's not about this color and it's not about that color it's about all colors we are all one race and if we all come in unity we shall make a change
Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! person's voice we can only change it on all of our voices so the time we recognize that we are a voice that we can make a change together we shall make a change but it, it can't happen overnight people it can't happen overnight where I'm sitting in the corner thinking oh I don't have a voice or do you know what it doesn't affect me so I won't say anything seriously are you really gonna say that? Now, I'm not gonna judge you because we all have our own points in time in life to recognize what we wanna do. But do you really wanna wait until this comes on your doorstep to make a change? None for that, not for me. No, 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 no. Injustice cannot continue in this day and age in such an inhumane manner. It is disgusting by every means and people we need to unite to make a change. Now. I'm not saying that um, the police force who did what they did was right. No, they were given authority, they abused it, but that does not mean that every police force member is wrong. That doesn't mean that every white person is wrong. No, because not every white person kills and not every black person kills and not every police officer kills. But then the day, people, this is the reality we're facing. This is the reality we live in. And the only way we can make a change is we raise up a voice in one stand together in unity to make a change. So I employ us all, let's make a change. Let's make a change in a positive manner. Let's not allow it, as they say in London Youth Manor, let's not allow it to get murky up in here because it can get murky. And boy, none of us need that to happen. So I employ us, I employ every one of you out there that has sense to know, let's not allow this to get murky. We can do what we want to do in our own power, but I'm asking that we don't take it into our own hands. Let's unite, let's come together, and let's let love live. At the end of the day, this hashtag BLM, Black Lives Matter, it is important. Black lives do matter. And I just want to say to um, people out there who are like, what are you trying to say that black lives are most important than anybody else's? Or you're trying to say... Uh, we're nobodies or 
black people trying to be racist because they can be racist. Yeah, black people can be racist, but I'm not saying that. No, we're not saying BLM, Black Lives Matter, is not a slogan or a hashtag put out there to discriminate or put anybody down. It is put out to make a stand in unity to say, when will Black Lives Matter in this world today that we live in, that these things will not take place? To so people, let's show love, please, I beg, let's come in unity. The only way we're gonna see justice taking place, I don't know how how justice can take place in something like this because it's healing that we need right about now and we need to move in love and unity to allow each other to help each other the left and the right coming together to bring unity so people i'm gonna say it and i'm gonna say it again i don't have the answer no but what i will say is that we need to let love live we need to allow unity in love in and let god I love you all and let's keep on doing what we've got to do to, to support the cause and to allow love in. Black Lives Matter, you matter, I matter. I love you loads.